What's going on, my high vibrational individual expressions of God on earth? You know, each one of us is a unique individual expression of God. And that's why I love everybody and I ce celebrate the diversity, everybody, the diversity of mind that everybody has to have because we're all getting to where we want to get to in a different way. And, you know, um, I admire each and every single way a person, place, or thing, or spirit is trying to get to that end goal so we can start again a new cycle this shit is deep man but right now we're talking about you know the illusion of you know separation while in reality all things are united the reason we view things to be divided is because we see things on a mathematical position of a polar shift male female yet both male and female of opposites come together to reproduce new offsprings we see oppositions in the form of seasons Winter is opposite to summer, yet we see that both are extreme opposite of each other, yet both complement each other because they're both important parts of the cycle, and each of those impact the development of the earth, and each and, se and certain sectors of the earth represent those areas. So if you go up north, you see Sweden, you'll see uh, the northern Antarctica, and things like that. These places are extremely cold. The geographical location representing the winter, representing the harshness of reality, representing Saturn, you know, needing to build structure, needing to understand how to build buildings so you and your team can get together, have associations, so you guys can create some kind of status so you guys can live out that, you know, live out in that area. Because if you don't come together to chop the wood, put the wood in the fire, and learn some form of transmutation and things like that, you're not gonna be able to survive the winter. So the winter teaches us the valuable lessons of you know coming together as a people so we can build groups and associations so we can survive and things like that you know summer that's represented in uh, the middle east saudi arabia uh, northern sahara of africa and things like that and that's like uh springtime that's like birth time because that's creating uh, something new that's uh, uh you know hotness that's heat that's the fire of creation just like when the sun rises in the morning it brings the heat the waking sense into reality and we can see those but the replication the duplications of god's ideals and archetypes throughout with this reality and throughout the universe but it also creates this illusion of separation which makes people think like okay white people versus black people the idea of white people and black people is the same a damn idea it's the same idea just because me and you have a polar shift just because you are just because you have soft hair and I have a dry kinky hair, it doesn't mean that we still can't come together and build something. See, we're not doing this. See, this is the problem in the world. We view everything in life as separate. Nothing in life is separate. Everything is just simply an illusion. We get lost in these illusions and we start being delusional in things that really don't matter. Like, I really don't care if you're a KKK member. I really don't care if you're a Black Panther member. Don't tell me what the fuck you're against. Too many people are against something. This, this this brother is against this brother because this brother is trying to be himself. This sister is against that sister because that sister is with a husband that loves her. The world is becoming this senseless place and we as a people need to regain and elevate and reconnect with our own consciousness and reconnect with the planet and reconnect with you know the cosmos and connect with the source that is producing this reality beyond all this. Because right now we are in a low vibrational state. We are in a low vibrational version of those things. And if we can't elevate our game and see beyond the illusion and the delusions, the shadow government, they're going to utilize these factors against you guys to divide you even more. Where do you think the idea of dividing and conquering came from? It came from the same idea of a polar shift. Ah, look, now they're making men and women so polarized that you're all not even going to be able to be with each other. Y'all not even gonna be able to go on dates. Y'all just gonna prefer like same gender relationships or transgender relationships, stuff like that. Now, I'm not, I'm not against those people, man. I, I, I have compassion for those people. Like, I want those people to experience God within themselves, not go outside of them. And, cause man, it's capitalism. Someone is benefiting from your insecurity. Someone is making money from your insecurity. And they're not even helping you. They they fucking putting bandages on top of your symptoms. And those man, they're they're literally crying from within. I know the I, I know these transgender activists 
entertainers, they make it look good on stage. But bro, don't buy that shit. Behind closed doors, they're sad. They're grieving because they're sexually frustrated. Like, their life has turned upside down. But yet the dominant culture is fully weaponizing the ordinances of the media, the, or, the ordinances of the shadow, you know, the, the structure of things, the, all types of variables, the food, man, everything. To make sure that they pump you up with specific chemicals so that they, they can do what I call a combination magic spell. Which is basically what it means if you get off of work and you know, you're already stressed out, you're already pissed off, your boss yelled at you, you're mad now. And you go down the street and you eat a Kentucky Fried Chicken and you get that carcinogenic stuff in your body. That's going to put even more stress and more weight on your body because you're already on that state. So that alchemy going on in your mind and that alchemy now, that physical representation you put in your body, now that's getting ready to fuck you up even more. That's getting ready to manifest something. Because everything you do in the mind, everything you do physically, you cook that and it becomes something. So you might even produce a few cancerous cells, but it might not even fully take you over and things like that just yet. You know, instead, you might always want to go drink you some nice lemon water. Some nice fresh ice water just to calm down, go to the sauna. You know, there's a plethora of options and things you could do. But if you let the commercials, if you let these illusions that they are putting in front of your eyes for them to produce a particular wave of awareness with inside of you, then you're going to get lost in the shadow government shit by you not understanding the illusion that we are in, which is just simply understanding that everything naturally has a polar shift just like we have a ph high ph alkaline level you also have a very acidic level now there's a lot of ways to look to look at these different things but all i'm trying to say is is that not either or is bad we just simply need to understand how to use utilize the number three which is how to bring these two together for a resolution for a solution so we can know which side of the spectrum we're on so we can begin to operate in our purpose. But when we operate in our purpose, we're not we're not supposed to hate any person, place, or thing. See, man, there's there's the if you if you're a very angry person, you, you should be angry. There's certain things that you should be angry at that's going on in your life that you need to change. Anger is nothing but like Mars. It's just transformation. It's you being able to transform your personal situation or circumstances outside of you via you applying some form of aggression. Because that's the, that's, that's the Martian weapon, Scorpio and Aries and things like that. They're able to use aggression and transformation and passion to transform people, places, and things, especially Scorpios when it comes to them going through some kind of emotional transformation. And, you know, they like it when other people around them go through that as well. And, you know, they, you know it, 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 it's not deep or nothing like that. It's not no crazy, nothing like that. All it is, astrology, is just mathematics of astronomy because we're mapping out. Astronomy is external. Mapping out the parameter of the sky. How do you think we came to the conclusion and the curated, you know, paradigms like, you know, spring, summer, winter, and fall? We had to, you know, we had to map out. We had to calculate. We had to divide things. We had to make maps of things. And, astro and astrology, later on, they realized that, okay, all those things outside of us is really just reflecting an internal nature inside of us that we're already doing. And as us being mankind, a.k.a. being human kind which is just different colors of flesh not just externally but also internally because we play out different conscious forms of awareness some people might use the color red a lot in their head some people might use the color yellow a lot some people might use the color uh purple a lot these are all conscious awareness that you hop into as a spirit as an observer and write that as a vehicle to do what you need to do uh you know throughout your day and things like that because right right now for example i'm using a few chakras I'm aligning my chakras, but I'm using my throat, my mercury chakra, and I'm speaking a lot so I can become powerful in speech because I'm, 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 you know, I'm putting it into practice. I'm not losing the muscles there. I'm not losing the, the, the vocal ability to project my voice rather than the shadow government putting you guys in situations now where, you know, now you have to stay at home. Now that that plot didn't work as well as they wanted to because, you know, People started to figure it out a little bit later with the whole plan, pandemic and things like that. But, you know, that's why you got to be able to see through this shit. You can't get lost in this shit. You cannot afford to get literally your family's life depends on you. 
your your spiritual hood, your soul depends on it. Your body depends on it, this vehicle. Now this vehicle ain't shit. We got a greater vehicle called the, the astral vehicle, the light body. That's the those are the real vehicles that you're gonna uh, ascend into and use that shit to whoop, warp at, warp the fuck out of here. You ain't flying nowhere, bro. You traveling. You space. You interstellar traveling, bro. We interstellar travelers, cosmos travelers. You know what I'm saying? But if we don't start to understand that, you know, everything in the universe that appears as opposites really is just behind closed doors, united, then we're not going to be... How do you think in the Bible they made a theology about the four archangels? Uh, I think there were seven, uh, seven different archangels, but the four different uh, main ones is all just a theology about the stars. Raphael, Regulus, uh, uh, Uriel, Antares, the fall, Michael, uh, what was Michael? What was, the, what was the fixed star name? I forgot. But basically, Michael and what was the, what was the one? Raphael. No, let's go. Let's say from the beginning. Spring. Michael. Then we have Raphael. Uh, summer. And then you have Uriel. Fall. And then you have Gabriel. Winter. Death. So these are so these are all just representations of what already goes on in the cosmos that the Catholic Church took. The conscious wave of awareness the energy itself and they put the intellectual property in front of it as if that's the real image as if that's the real god and they made people think that they need to worship their version they image they they vision they they version of the cosmos and make you guys bow down to it like that's the greatest thing ever but it's just a version a point of view it's a world view that's why you have hinduism it's talking about the same thing different aspects of the universe so that's why they have like bunch of gods you know but it's all literally just different atoms different temperaments now, for example in the spring and in the summertime the particles tend to move fast because because it's, it's heating so it's move fast in winter because things freeze the particles tend to move slow so things can freeze things can be slow even when you breathe in winter you're gonna draw out you know kind of cold breath in a way you know what i'm saying especially if you're uh, in a cold area and things like that, you're gonna see that your breath is kind of like different because the particles in the air are kind of like moving slow and things like that. So they just made different anthropomorphizations, which is just attributing a nature to characteristics and attributes that you see in the third dimension, <coughs> so they can make uh, you know a theology, uh, a worldview about it called Hinduism. And that's what's going on in every religion of the world. So when a Muslim looks at Hinduism, be like, oh, you guys are worshiping 500,000 gods. God is one. You guys don't know anything. No, no, no. You don't know anything. You don't know anything about God, clearly. Because God is unity. But God is also division. That's why you need to understand the laws of things. So you don't go fighting people. So you don't go try to hurt people. So you don't go try to harm people. Because they, they look at things differently than you. Yeah, no fucking shit people are going to see things differently than you. People ain't you. People didn't go through the same experiences that you went through in life. You know, even that person that tried to do you wrong, they went through certain experiences of life for them to even come to the conclusion that they need to live an, a survival-based mindset. So, you know, I'm not saying hang out with, with them with, with crazy. I'm just saying recognize and you know have a little bit of compassion for people because people are trying to understand the same thing you are trying to understand just from their own perspective so i i i, I don't judge no fucking body I, I don't got time for that i don't do that shit because i understand life i understand reality and when you see somebody who understand life somebody understand reality like jesus you know how many G versions of jesus there were back in the day you know how many people were called the son of god born of a virgin because you need to understand what those things mean it's a it's a constellation it's an energy it's a transition it's a transmutation earth is a giant transmutation circle and when you understand it then you're able to start doing the same thing as above so below you're able to create your group of people and it's up to you if you want to you know enlighten them on what's going on but most of the times it becomes like some people say masonry freemasonry started as good good from their perspective then it became evil because they're trying to control the world build your mind a certain way makes you think okay option a or option b you want to finance the car or do you want to lease the car uh you know things like that they don't want to give you they don't want to let you create your own option because they want to trap your energy in their reality so whenever you're somebody who starts creating their own options and you start showing people the, the world that you know there's more options out there you know they they, they might want to get rid of your ass because you know hey 
uh, depending on how strong of a spirit you is. Because if they, because if they know who you is and they know you a capable spirit, they know damn well that you're gonna fucking haunt their ass. Because they don't, they, they're not getting away with nothing. They're not getting away with nothing. If you're a strong spirit, you can go make a water wheel, come back here again, zoom in, in a way harder position. Because all that's gonna happen is that you're just gonna be harder to kill, tougher to kill, and you're gonna have more tools to attack their shit. Because that's what that's what they that's what they do. And God's gonna support it. God's gonna be like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of tired of this shit. You know, I, went, I I took them through so many winters, so many so many deaths, so so many Gabriels that they still doing it. I mean, I ain't mad at them, but you know, at some point shit gotta fall so something new can come. And that's what people like me here are coming to establish this new wave of awareness. Because God is already sending the conscious wave of awareness to the world, and people are already receiving it. But again, people want to put on their horse blinders and not see what's going on. Oh no, I don't know what's going on like this. I, I, I can only see straight, brother, praise Jesus. So, you know, and you're going to see your friends, your family putting on those horse blinders. Yeah, they know what's going on. Uh, yeah, your family members know, know that, no, don't know that the pastor at the church is a fraud. Yeah, they know, they know, but it's comfortable. It's safe. It's secure. It's what everybody else is doing. So they want to do that too because they don't know because they don't know they don't know they don't know what it means to go into the unknown explore a whole new space in the cosmos that ain't never been explored before and it probably was but you know yeah you not a lot of humans dare to venture into the darkness to create a new light there and you know yeah mm -hmm. it gets deep because even those, those elohims depending on how far you go with your mind they might want to start kicking you out of their reality because they're going to be like, well, you're not even participating in our shit. So why why you want to be here? Yeah, that's somebody going to be like, damn, you know what? You're right. I don't even want to participate in this shit. Nah, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Make a whole new world somewhere else. Or, or you know, join with, the, join with the source of things. A lot of things you can do as a spirit. You got a lot of options out there. That's so you got angels, you got demons, and God ain't judging nobody. God's just letting you do what you want to do until you figure it the fuck out. Real motherfucking shit.